Damn. What the fuck am I supposed to do with this shit? Gin and juice is just perfect. That's that next thing that just made complete sense to you. It's like, it's a layup. It's like, it's right there. And look where we at in our careers. Look at our age. Look at what we've done. And we still love each other. Mm -hmm. So why not do something together? Like, a lot of times people have been in a relationship for 30 years, can't talk to a motherfucker, right. can't hang out, can't go visit. We actually love each other. So why not do some shit together? I'm doing great business. He's doing great business. Let's, let's stop and do some business together. What's wrong with that? <laughs> There's a Dr. Dre, there's Snoop, but when you put that and together, that's something totally different. You know, I think Snoop said it the best. It's like, we're better together. Right. You know, I can't go on stage without Snoop and be serious about what I'm doing. Of course, I've been on stage with other people and shit like that, and it's been fun, and we've done some really great shit, but, you know, us together, it's always magical. I think Jimmy said it best. It's like, it's, it's, it's Keith and Mick. Right. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah, it's yeah. Vinyl and age, that's what it is. And when you it's see... It's just a, cer a certain thing that happens when we're together. Because he, he a perfectionist. He yeah. wants to make sure it's like, it's good, but yeah, it ain't yeah. great. And he don't never listen to our old shit. He ain't one of them niggas that just... Like, I listen to our old shit. He don't listen to none of that shit. Nah. So everything he own is brand new. So if we play new shit for him and it's not great, he calls it whack. <laughs> Do For I real? say that? Yeah, you do. You be like, now get that shit out of here, bro. But later on today, yeah. my nigga Boom. Dr. Dre coming through with a gang of gin and juice. Now, this right here, <laughs> this has been over 30 years of marketing. You know, without but we even didn't knowing. Know, but we didn't know that exactly. because, like, we just was having fun. We wasn't in it it's for lifestyle. the... lifestyle. But we're young. We're not trying to be businessmen and marketing and branding. Mm -hmm. We're trying to make the dopest fucking music. So we was not even thinking about that. But the point is, the shit's so good that it's still there. And now we can jump on it and get to it. How did that come together? Nigga, that's all we was drinking every day in the studio. This nigga would come in there with a gallon. You know, the <laughs> milk cartons? You know, the milk gallons? Yeah. He poured the milk out. Half gin, half orange juice. He had the board with that. We, we was in our in. 20s, man. I come right. in with the seagulls, <laughs> with the bumpy face gin and juice. It just was our drink. Super Saco and gin, mm -hmm. gin and just, it was just the shit. It was our drink. It was some hood shit. And what I love about Dr. Dre is when he worked with you, he finna learn everything about you. Everything was us from ground up. You know, and Dr. So, Dre been a part of the, the evolution of it, the, the, like you say, the creation of the flavor, the, I don't like this, no, we should go with this, go with that. And that's the part that they the great The gin, at. the flavor. Yes, yes. The packaging, the can, everything. The amount us. of alcohol that's in there, the percentage. So Remember this that? is apricot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was apricot, a fight for a minute. Passion fruit. Passion yeah. fruit that yeah. we just have out here. Yeah. And you're taste testing, and you know, like, man, no, this isn't it. Just like Dr. Dre in the studio. Meticulous. Yeah. You know this isn't it. It's not just him. We have people that taste test one. There's, a, there's, a, there's a magnificent team of people around us, and they're just presenting it, and all we have to do is taste it or look at it to see if we like it or not. How much in the process? I've been through the fucking laboratory, which was fucking crazy. We went <laughs> we went to this laboratory in Chicago. We had to put on the, 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 the white coats and the whole shit and create the gin. It's not like we use, right. we're we using somebody else's gin and putting our name on it, you know? Creating the gin, creating the flavors, doing like, I don't know how many taste tests and the whole shit, so this is really us. How real is this to you right now, dog? Like, when you look at the can with all the work that goes into it, because people look and say, oh, I got the can, and it's, there's, the, there's the gin and juice blend in here. But from all the tasting, the ideas, the meetings, the flyaways, they showed me a commercial or something, an asset where the can was spinning yeah. and it was driving into different flavors. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, we, it's, it, it's incredible to know that you got something that's amazing that you feel is going to really work. Mm -hmm. And the look of the can and the taste of it, it's all there. The only thing we have to do is not fuck up. This is not a liquor that we're just putting our name on. No way. At all. It's just like the headphones, you know? It's right. like beats. Everything was us from ground up. This had to be perfect. It has to be. I mean, yeah. everything does, mm -hmm. you know? He ain't going to do nothing regular. We're, we're <laughs> shooting to make everything we do magnificent. Fortunately, most of the time, we hit the target.